by Scotty Mayfield. Great to have you here this well, morning. Here. And we do have some changes. I said we creamery do. in the name. We do. And well, we you know, this up. is our traditional logo, right. Mayfield Dairy Farms. Yes. And so we've started, we went back to my grandfather's original name in right. 1923, Mayfield Creamery. And so we, it's it's kind of a no, nostalgic move. Right. We've looked at all of our old formulas, and we've brought out some things that we hadn't had for a, a while. So that that's where some of the new flavors have come from. Right now, are these already in stores? Are these? They're the in. Uh, in? I'm going to say yes. They should be in the stores. The only one that may not be is this old-fashioned vanilla, and that's really for a new market in Texas. Right, okay. Because okay, right. we're going to, it's kind of crazy, but we're going to Oklahoma and Texas wow. and New Mexico and Arizona. So well, is, and you're everywhere, and it seems like you have just always been there. You know, you've always been around, and I was glad you came on because I actually yeah. did a little research and got digging into the history yeah. of it. It's amazing. We've been in the southeast mostly. Right. We've never ventured that far west, and so right. it'll be uh, an interesting, uh, it'll be very interesting. We've been, we've been through all of our formulas. Right. And we've taste tested against a lot of people, and I actually think we may have the best ice cream in America right now. Best I, I premium think you ice might cream. Be right. I mean, it's really <laughs> amazing how how we've uh, tested out. But these are our our newest flavors. Right. And so, and then the history of it. I mean, it was milk first, and then it was like in 1923. Is that correct? That's kind well, of when ice cream. Well, our, came. We first started with milk in 1910, okay. and that, my grandfather was doing whatever he, you know, he was right. just basically. Um, delivering it to the homes every day. Right. And then in 23, he started making ice cream. And the first big story is <laughs> he made ice cream for a week getting ready for the 4th of July. Right, right. And he comes home early that day. And his, my grandmother told this story. She said, I thought something was wrong. <laughs> and lo and behold, um, they had sold out. And he, she said, we stayed up and counted the pennies and nickels and dimes <laughs> until, you know, late at night. Right. And so that was a big success. And, and the, you know, he tried to have the best ice cream in that area. Right. And then, of course, when, when my father and uncle came along, they wanted to have the best ice cream, you know, between Knoxville and Chattanooga. And then my cousin and I came along and we wanted to make sure we had the best ice cream in Atlanta and the right. southeast and and now I, I think we can compete well just about anywhere we go. Well, I absolutely agree with that. And you know, I guess with learning this history, it's such so great for even families to take part. That has to be rewarding when they visit and because they can take tours in oh, we Athens. Do. We and have a visitor center right. in Athens, and right. we have one in our milk plant in Brazelton, right. Georgia. Right. And in the fall, we have a, a corn maze on the farm, and a lot of people come to the plant and the corn maze. Um, right. It's a big family deal. So because it's important to hang on to right. those stories That's and to right. educate. You know, our young people, that, I mean, my right. in-laws have a farm, but not everybody has had that experience. Right. So, and, and you guys really try to keep it like that old-timey farm look, well, right? We're kind of that way. Yes, yeah, so, well, I like it that way. It's important to hang on to that. So, right. okay, today you, you said you brought, you have the, the new cart. What flavors did you bring here today? Okay, so this is a lemon ice box pie, which okay. is a really old-timey oh flavor. This is summer berry <laughs> swirl, which yeah. has got two or three different berries in it. Mm -hmm. Very, <clears throat> very good. A little tartness. The, right. the lemon is not as tart as you might. Oh, really? Well, it's I a love little lemon. Sweeter. I love tart. <laughs> and then this candy jar crunch. We Lord. had a flavor that we called <laughs> Yellow Brick Road. Right. Yes. And nobody knew it. what it was, <laughs> but it's Butterfinger and vanilla ice cream, ground up Butterfingers. Yes. And so we changed the name to Candy Bar, Candy Jar Crunch. Crunch. Okay. And then we've got sea salt. Caramel cheesecake. And do you have just a whole team that comes up with these creative names? I mean, we do have, what goes into and this. We, we have, we listen a lot to consumers right. because a lot of the things like the lemon icebox pie, it's really a dessert. Right. So it comes from somebody saying, hey, can you make ice cream? using this dessert recipe. Right, absolutely. Well, I can't hog all that. Alexandria is here. You can come on over. She's patiently <laughs> she waiting. Go. I don't think I have to twist her arm How too badly. So I want to try this lemon. Are you going to give, which one did you want to go I think I'm going to try the candy jar. The candy um, jar? Yeah. Okay, sounds Let's great. Let's try that one out. Mm. Thank you. I love this. What's the little crunch, like little lemon pieces? What is that? that well, is it's, little, it's little lemon peaches, uh, pieces, right. little mm. crunchy pieces. Yes. And then there's um, some cake. <laughs> I can taste like the cake. Like so pie delicious. crust. And, um, 
Well, that's great. And, when and I guess that's when, just ground up Butterfingers. I, well, I love Butterfingers and an ice cream. It makes it even so better. So we can sit here and just eat, but I'm going to quiz you on your trivia. You want to eat up? Forgive me. Okay, I'm ready. Sure. Okay, do you know the cow's name? The mascot. I really put you on the spot Oh, my here. gosh. That, mm, you know, how did, first off, I'll tell you. Her name is Maggie, right? And how did she get that name? It was kind of a contest, wasn't it, was it at one time? It was a contest at Tennessee Wesleyan University there in, in Athens. And the, the winner named her Maggie the Magnificent Mayfield <laughs> Milk Making Machine. <laughs> and she is there. <laughs> and I guess when people see that, the cow, they just get they excited. Do, they do. <laughs> She's probably had more pictures taken in front of her. Uh, than, than just about anything. I mean, she's very lot, famous, very popular. That's right. <laughs> right. Well, I was going to ask you too before I ask you another question. With you, with this new cart, you have sherbets and things like that. Right. Will they also have the creamery? Discipline? We will go okay. eventually. Eventually, okay. Right. But this right now will right. be. be and the good stuff. thing about this carton is, on the back, instead of having the same as on the front, we mm -hmm. have. Uh, a little bit of a history. Right. So okay, as we nice. go into some of Talk these new that. markets <laughs> and, and as people move into our new area, I mean Chattanooga's growing, we're getting more and more people here. Right. It tells them a little bit about the history of our company. Right. So that's really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Okay, one, one more question? Yes. Okay. So how many stomachs do you think cows have? Could cows said for their digestives? Ah, uh, it's mm -hmm. ten. Maybe. I think it's three. Three. Well, it says four. Hey, four. 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 I know. Hey, so I many was, interesting facts. I was that's what I love. Four. I actually got these. I'm, it's not wow. that I'm that smart. I got this from the website right. because there's so many great that things there. And that's right. what I would yeah. encourage people to go and you could yeah. do these fun little things right. with your yeah. children maybe on the way to visit a dairy. Now, did you go to MayfieldDairy.com or MayfieldCreamery.com? No, I think maybe there is. There's a we creamery have now. Okay. Oh. We have a Mayfieldcreamery.com, right. which is with the new ice cream. So we're going to pop up a graphic, and that yes. one's not there. Then you can also visit. Yeah, that's the go. dairy, but right. you can also go now to Mayfieldcreamery.com. Yes. Find out more right. information about the new cartons as long um, with a lot of great facts, too. Thank you so much for being yes, here. This thank has you. been deliciously fun today. <laughs> and we'll be right back with more Let's Chat.